Hello all, welcome back to Learning Partner. If you are new, please do subscribe. This is another channel where you can directly connect with me. We have around 1000 plus members already who are working. We take live coding sessions and everything so to just get notified about those sessions. Please do join this group. Okay, so now in this video, we are going to see like what is interface, what is class, how to create interface, how to create class. Now, most famous question is like when to use class and when to use interface. All right, so let's start. So if you remember, like in the CRUD operation, once we start the API integration, we have created this component. And in this, we have done all the CRUD operation. Fine. So now let me just go to that component API and the post API component. So if you see over here, every time, whenever we have created any uh, array variable where we are going to store array or object, we were using any. But we should never go for any because we are using TypeScript in TypeScript. They have provided class and interface way to strongly type your variable with particular data type. So in this case, instead of any using it any, we can create class or interface. Fine. Means whatever the variable, what are the properties you have in this particular class or whatever the array of object you are going to store, what properties you have, that kind of class and interface you will create. Fine. So what I will do inside our app folder, I will create a model folder. Fine. Inside model folder, let's say I will create a simple car.ts file. It's just a normal ts file. Now inside this file, what I can do export. I need to, let's say I need to create a class. So export class. We are using export because this class we are going to use in another file. So we have to allow him to allow uh, this particular class to be getting used in another component. We have to first export it. Let's say car. Now, what are the properties we have? These properties, we need to create it over here. Let me just open it side by side. So we had car ID. So now car ID will have a data type of integer. No, sorry, number. Then we have brand. So let's create brand will have string data type. Just like that, we need to create all the properties. So what I will just, let me just copy paste and then we will just use shortcut to Oh, sorry, semicolon. Let me just quickly do this. Now we need to remove this single quote value. And this I will replace with colon string. Like this. Fine. So year was also again a number. And daily rate was also again a number. So this is how we have created our class. So now with every property, we are getting error like car ID has no initialization, registration number, right? Since we have created properties into this class, so we have to initialize this also. So what then initialization we can do in constructor. Since it's a class, so we can have access to the constructor. Now in constructor, you will initialize all the properties, what whatever default value we had. Sorry, car ID supposed to be zero. Remaining string value, we will initialize with empty. Just like this, you will create all the properties. So let me just copy this. Let's put it over here. And we will do like this. Just a shortcut way I'm using. Fine. Now, wherever you can see here, we specified a string number data type. So we cannot initialize with M, no, empty value. So we will initialize with zero. Fine. So this is how you create the class. Whenever you are doing any CRUD operation, you know from API what data you are going to send to the post API. So just create interface of those properties. Okay. Then since we have created our class, now instead of any over here, now you can provide the proper data type. Means in this object, what type of data you are going to store? This type of. Okay. So you will use this interface, uh, sorry, class name over here instead of any. Let's add the import. And now you don't need to initialize these properties. That's it. But again, it is saying like it is not initialized. So if we are creating an instance of our class, we can make use of new method to initialize that class like this. Got it? So this is how you initialize your property. Let's say once you save, after that you need to again reinitialize your object. So in case of save, you can do again this dot car object is equal to new car like this. So you have reinitialized your object. So this constructor will get again executed because of this. 
we are creating instance of that object. So constructor will get again executed. So your car object will have the default values. Fine. So this is how you create the class. So whenever, never we should use the any. Always go for class or interface. Now let's create the interface also. Export interface. So now second, I'm going to create interface. Now let's say in this car list, what data we are going to get from API that I'm just, uh, just to explain, I'm creating interface now. So let's say whenever we create the interface, we should start with the name I. It's not mandatory, but just a good programming standard we use. I car list, my interface name. So remember how we created the class just like that. We just need to copy paste this over here, but instead of semicolon, we can make use of the comma also in interface, okay? This is also will work fine. In interface doesn't have any constructor, so we don't need to initialize these properties. So this is how you created your interface. Now, this interface you can use over here instead of any in the car list as like this. Let's add the input. Let's save. Fine. So this is how we have created our class and interface and this is how we have used. Now, what is the benefit? So if you go to HTML now, See over here, brand item dot. Once I press dot, see, it is suggesting the field key and field values. So you don't make the spelling mistake now because we said car list is having a data type of this particular interface. So it will suggest all the properties it has. Brand, same over in the form also. See over also it is suggesting, right? In case of any, it won't suggest because we have provided the data type proper data type like in this car object what kind of data i'm going to hold so like this so you get intelligence of the properties whatever you have in the object that is the benefit now next question was when to use interface and when to use class so class we normally use whenever we are creating a variable and that variable we are binding it to the form always go for the class if you are creating a variable and you are storing some value into that object or something and that variable you are normally binding it with your form so always go for a class now coming back to the interface let's say you are just storing some data you are not using that uh, variable in template form or anywhere you can go for the interface whenever you need something default value to be getting initialized you have to go for the class right but if it is array or something you can just directly go for the interface in interface you don't have to initialize the properties here also it is not mandatory let's say daily rate is you want to keep it as optional so you can do like this now you don't need to initialize that see if you don't provide a question mark it will ask you to initialize this property but let's say this is optional so you can add a question mark over here if you don't want to do like this in the constructor here you can provide like over here also this is also possible but this is more standard way we get to see like what property has what default initialization so we can make some property uh, optional also. We can, while creating property, we can initialize this also. Then this is not needed. Got it? Same in interface also, you can add the question mark here or making this property optional. Okay. So this is how you create the class and interface. So whenever you use any data type, always create class and interface of those properties. And instead of any, you, will, you should use this. Fine. So that's it with this video. It was a small thing. Again, if you are new, please do like, subscribe and uh, do join my WhatsApp link. I am taking currently we are having testing session going on. So those are the live session you can attend. And in case if you have any queries, you can connect with me that also. Okay. So that's it. Thank you guys.